This stack I've used to heal a torn hamstring on myself in under seven days. How to measure your BBC 157 and TB 500. We're gonna make this video short, sweet, and to the point. We're gonna talk about what equipment you need, how to measure it, even a way where you don't have to inject yourself more than one time. So the reason why this is called the Wolverine stack is because how quickly it helps you recover, whether that's a partially ruptured tendon, a torn muscle, whatever it may be. Professional athletes as well have been using this for around a decade behind the scenes before it was popularized. So let's jump into this. TB500 is a synthetic peptide that is extremely effective for healing damaged muscle tissue. Whereas BBC157 is more effective for healing soft tissue like tendons and ligaments. But before you measure it, you need to know what you're measuring. So first and foremost, you're going to need your peptides, BBC157 and TB500. You need one insulin syringe. I highly recommend the insulin syringe is a one milliliter syringe or a hundred unit syringe. So at the bottom, You'll see that it's 100. And the reason for this is how we're going to measure. And then you need bacteriostatic water. This is essentially sterile water that has benzyl alcohol to keep the solution sterile so you don't get an infection when you inject yourself. So typically speaking, BBC 157 and TB 500 is going to come in five milligram bottles. For instance, these two right here are five milligram bottles. I will preface that there are some medical compounding pharmacies that have 15 milligram bottles because I have personally been scripted some. In that case, I will talk about the measurement later on, but we're gonna go down to five milligrams at a time to get the proper measurement. Most people that are going to be taking this are going to be doing 500 micrograms per day. So when we're looking at 500 micrograms versus five milligrams, essentially this is going to be one tenth of the bottle if we add one milliliter into it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually measure this. Remember, one milliliter, this whole syringe of 100 units is one milliliter. This is my BBC 157 syringe sterile because I just opened the top. Now you don't technically have to do this. So this is bacterial static water. This is sterile solution and the benzyl alcohol that they add into it is so that you don't get an infection when you inject. Don't use sterile water, use benzyl alcohol water or BA water, bacterial static water. So we'll get the whole syringe. We're gonna take our bottle that has not been constituted yet and we're going to reconstitute it. Reconstitution just means that we're adding liquid into it. I always recommend taking the bottle on the side, putting this into the middle. So you have the little, little circle at the middle. We're gonna put this in the middle now and we're gonna slowly let the fluid drip into it. Now, the reason why I do this is because I don't want to damage any molecules when I'm pushing this in. So just let it trickle in, pop it out. And then simply, instead of don't shake the bottle, just turn the bottle like this. So you're gonna see the powder slowly mixing over time. So there's a little bit more. You're gonna keep rolling it. Play with Jeopardy music. <laughs> All right, we're in business. Now, what 500 micrograms looks like, and this is going to be the same thing with the TB500, they're both five milligram bottles, is this. We're gonna to pull to that 10 marker now. So if you ever get a bottle where it's really, really hard to pull the fluid in like this, pro tip, so I wanna show, so this needle is getting pulled back in, right? This means that there's too much pressure on the outside of the bottle. So what we're gonna do to make it so that the volume is consistent from the air is we're gonna take this, we're gonna load this full of air, push this into the bottle, and what you're gonna notice is it's much easier to get the fluid out now. Now I'm gonna pull back the syringe, and now the fluid's coming in. So if you ever have an issue like that, that's how you solve it, you just put air into it. So this right here at the 10 IU marker is 500 micrograms. And this is what is going to be used most likely for daily dose for most people especially if you're scripted it, but for injury prevention, this is great, even for maintenance. Now, if you're doing the combination of BBC 157 and TB 500 together, we can do both at the same time. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm gonna mix the bottle really fast. We're gonna leave this, we're gonna put it on the top and just leave it right here. So this is our BBC. So we're just putting this to the side. BBC, BBC, we're keeping things organized. TB 500, okay? Again, five milligram bottle. So we're gonna fill this with one milliliter of water again. Don't drop the bottle like I did. All right. I always pull a little bit past the uh, the 100 IU marker just because like it pulls a little bit faster. And then I just push the rest of the water back in usually. All right. Same thing with this one. We're gonna put the this into it. And it's, it's actually funny. So this needle bent, you can still technically use it, but uh, we're gonna use the other needle. That's why I'm uh, gonna show you this. 
So water solutions can mix with water solutions. So this is TB500, roll it around a little bit, make sure that it's completely mixed up. And next, we're gonna take the BPC157 because we're doing 500 micrograms of BPC157 and 500 micrograms of TB500 because now we're injured. We're gonna combine this together. I am keeping the fluid in here. Okay, now this is a pro tip, again. So what I'm gonna do, because I, probably the volume is gonna be the same with this one, so I'm gonna put one milliliter of air into the, oh, so it's pushing back, right? Meaning that I don't need to do that. So I'm just gonna pull it back because that means that the water is gonna pull very quickly now because the volume's too high in this. So it's the opposite of the other bottle actually. So this one, I'm gonna pull it to the 20 mark. Oh, maybe not. So now that we're mixing these together, you don't wanna pull it past the 20 marker because you don't wanna to pull too much TB500 in ratio to BPC157. It's not gonna kill you if you do it. However, we want 500 micrograms of each. So instead of doing them separate shots, we can do it one shot at a time. And no one wants to shoot themselves more than one time at a time. Now, what is the best way to administrate? I have found through observe, observational studies as well as relative experience in using this for years, if you're injured, injecting close to site, I have seen better results with. Now, in theory, it doesn't make a difference. And on paper, it doesn't make a difference. I have just seen it where it does make a difference. And I've tried it. I've gotten injured a lot. I've seen it both ways. So I have a really bad shoulder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it close to the shoulder joint. Shoulder joint's here. I'm going to go close to it right here. Simple as that. That's it. Now, I'm going to get a lot of comments about this because I just injected before alcohol swabbing. I have personally never had an infection. Everything that I use is sterile. That was a brand new needle. Use an alcohol swab before and after. I know medical practitioners watch my information all the time. You guys are going to rip me a new one. Use an alcohol swab. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you found this video helpful.